I'm going to be talking about um, you know a pretty uh, simple application that we currently have around Netscaler about turning our load balancer into a an, an application tab based on a lot of feedback that we got from the attendees last year and so forth. So the foundational aspect of this was, as many of you know, you know, we are con constantly plagued with a whole bunch of visibility issues around applications, infrastructure, networks, and so forth. And um, you know, our current approach to doing solving these problems is to be intrusive, put agents all over the place, whether it's Java bytecode instrumentation or whatever it is, right? And then, of course, each of these have their own monitoring tools, management tools, and it's pretty hard to get a cross-functional view across all of these tools, including leveraging things like Splunk in addition to any of these point solutions. And it leads to a pretty expensive infrastructure at the end of the day, right? When you actually instrument everything as well as you have a siloed approach. So the foundation of this concept called AppFlow was introduced when a whole bunch of our customers came to us at Netscaler and said, look, you're, uh, you're a load balancer. You're the only part in the network that's actually seeing all the traffic. So why not let that become an application span port? Why not generate NetFlow for L7 data? So that's the genesis of AppFlow. And so what AppFlow actually does is pretty straightforward, right? So it, basically, we are a high-speed L7 proxy. We can grab all the information in real time that we use for load balancing that we just pump out using IP fix as NetFlow traffic that you can use as a NetFlow tool, right? And so the content of AppFlow is pretty straightforward. You actually get not just L2, L3 information in IP fix, but you actually get the L4 transaction record information from the same real estate that you already used for load balancing. And in addition to that, you actually get the true L7 information at the user level, whether the page has been loaded or not, transaction level information, and so forth. So, and you can do that not just at HTTP or SIP or so forth, but also any pr protocol. And the key difference here is that you're leveraging in-place real estate and architected for you know, high-speed processing at 100 gigs or so forth to actually generate this level of visibility, right? So that's the first difference, which is now you're no longer being intrusive as before. And the second difference is that you can now collapse a bunch of these agents that you've instrumented, whether it's span ports, high speed, you know, high cost uh, gigamons or so forth, into these in-place, you know, quote unquote, application span ports built into the load balancer, so that you're now being transparent in how you actually instrument your applications, right? So it's less intrusive, you're more transparent. Then of course, at the end of the day, because you're able to collapse all these tools together, and you're generating NetFlow-like records, any tool can be used to get a cross-functional perspective. So therefore, you know, this concept of being open versus siloed comes into play. So that's where the, uh, the real power of AppFlow comes in, where you can now take any popular tool like Splunk or SolarWinds or any of these guys, plug in and, you know, the AppFlow information and get a cross-functional perspective across your apps based on the network. And a lot of the spec is actually published at AppFlow.org, where you can actually trade on it with a bunch of other iterations that have gone in into the actual spec. So the one last thing, though, that we found as this got into the field, along with a lot of the deployments, was that in addition to getting visibility, you can now use that information, which is metrics, to take real-time policies, such as compress, log, drop, in real time, based on these policies that you can now see based on the data that's emanating from that load balancer which is really powerful, frankly, from our deployments, where you can actually do rate limiting in real time based on not just the load, but a various set of metrics associated with it. So that's the, in our opinion, the real power of uh, something like AppFlow is to gain visibility so that you can be less intrusive, be really transparent in how you can actually get this, do it in an open way so you're not siloed, you're actually leveraging IP fix, NetFlow-like formats, so you can actually use any tool. And then finally, hopefully, you're getting a whole lot more effective in how you actually deliver this solution. So that's AppFlow. And it's uh, definitely not OCD, like Seth said, but hopefully, you know, there's a few takeaways there for you guys. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh.